the new 4 series is out finally the cat is out of the bag there is an elephant there was an elephant in the room now it's out now everybody can see that grill which was teased which was you know there were spy shots there was everything going around apart from the final big reveal and bmw did that yesterday or today and in this video i'm gonna tell you all about the changes and obviously gonna talk about the grill because why not and everybody wants uh, everybody's got an opinion about that so let's dive right in so obviously let's start with the grill guys uh, it's big it's bold and it's vertical and I mentioned that in other videos as well let's start with that one why did BMW do the vertical the tall one in the 4 series and in the Z4 in the 8 series it's horizontal it's, it's like that it's beyond me because they by the words of BMW they explain that the uh, the sporty models the uh, you know the coupes the, 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 the grand coupes will have the vertical grill and they started that uh, more or less with the Z4 uh, which was you know also very uh, revolutionary design language that that new language started with with the concept of Z4 but they said that the sporty models will have that vertical grill and yet in the uh, 4 series they, they went back to the uh, tall one they teased that already in the i4 obviously modeled the, uh, the electric uh, 3 series, 4 series uh, Grand Coupe that will come on the market next year but I still don't understand why why they did uh, such a confusing uh, design language even though exp they explained that they still did it their way uh, not sure why they did that uh, let's get back to the grill though the design of it obviously a lot of uh, people hate it a lot of people love it uh, this is the uh, this is one of these things that is revolutionary maybe it will you know call it will give bmw more attention more you know uh, polemic people talking about it you know uh, bad news or bad rumors or bad uh, neg negativity still is still you know gonna bring you know marketing it's gonna still work uh, towards promoting the product so uh, we'll see about that let me know in the comments what do you think about that grill what is your opinion uh, is it too big you know already we had the x7 and the 7 series especially in the x7 and then the 7 series the the new facelifted one and the grill is so huge that it takes up uh, 60 70 percent of the front of the car in this case it's much smaller it, it's, it has that nice shape on the bonnet i actually like you know going towards the grill uh, but then they also added this huge uh, vents in the side of the bumpers maybe to offset a bit uh, the size of the grill and it's 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 a polemic it's a it's a thing that people will like people uh, will hate obviously uh, i'm not the biggest fan but i'm sure that uh, given if you choose the right spec if you choose the right colors and obviously you know make the grill black for example in some uh, trims uh, it might even look good uh, and i will show you soon uh, my uh, build because the bmw website already has an option to build your own uh, 4 series so that's another a new thing from BMW. The side profile as you can see as well with the comparison to the BMW 3 series is uh, way different and uh, the shoulder line especially is much lower on the uh, on the coupe where, where you have that handle you have that handle positioned lower than in the 3 series then you've got obviously a higher going line uh, over the wheels and in 3 series more streamlined more you know straight line and the handles are below the shoulder line that's that's the differences there are uh, they don't seem like it at first but there are huge differences between uh, 3 series and 4 series in terms of design in terms of when you look at those details you know the uh, the Hofmeister King which is the rear window uh, is completely different the, the the whole car is is uh, starting like faster the the uh, the windshield is going steeper 
and then you've got that swoopy uh, line on the rear so there are a lot of differences if you take a closer look at them obviously the, the grills and and uh, uh, the front design is a, is a highlight of it but the side as well as the rear they have differences between the 3 series and the 4 series so BMW in this uh, model in this uh, new generation decided to really uh, separate them in terms of design as well so they will be you know completely different cars when you see them on the road the rear is also amazing uh, the l-shaped uh, typical bmw design stays and i like it i love the rear the the flat you know tailpipes also amazing so i i believe i think the the rear the side is really nice uh, inside the car uh, it's a completely you know new story it's exactly the same as the 3 series obviously but what i'm saying is compared to a uh, previous generation the f30 f35 f34 uh, it's a, a new ball game basically for bmw i love it now inside i sat in the 3 series it's just amazing that the older one uh, was okay was good i only didn't like the the look of the material the on the dashboard you know you don't touch it too much so it's not not a big uh, issue but the look of it was a bit you know old school and not very not very modern with this with this new uh, 3 series and 4 series that's a whole completely different story now you can easily compete and uh, pe people will choose it much more over uh, Mercedes or Audi obviously and now it's it's a really really good car really good inside where you have everything uh, exactly as it should be and with that extra BMW style plus the physical buttons with the uh, radio controls with the with the extra shortcut buttons with the uh, air conditioning everything you know is physical so that's an amazing that's now a, a combination of that old school BMW where you have a driver uh, focused you know uh, screen and also the physical button so you don't have to search for something while you go in while you're driving and also on top of that the, the new material the cleanliness everything is now a bit cleaner a bit neater and and still you know amazing and now you can compete really with with the likes of BMW uh, of Mercedes and Audi A4 as well so let's get to engines and surprise surprise there is no surprises in the engines it was more or less exactly as was expected with the start, uh, starting lineup uh, of obviously the petrol four cylinder now 420i then you've got four cylinder 430i with 250 bhp uh, and then you've got the top of the range 440 and 440i which is a really nice engine six cylinder uh, typical bmw engine with 370 horsepower uh, and I think most uh, all of them have X drive, so four wheel drive. That is uh, an amazing news, and the power increases also good. 370 bhp is is already a lot. And then you've got the diesel, with obviously the 420d being probably will be probably the uh, top seller. But I believe also the 420i, the petrol, they will be like the the best sellers uh, because obviously the people are trying to phase out the governments are trying to phase out the diesel cars and uh, the petrols now are the more popular choices and you've got also the uh, 430i uh, for a uh, 430d which is about 250 bhp uh, which is also a, a really nice car really uh, economic and uh, and obviously got a nice poke and then you have something new that wasn't before in the range which is m440d which is a diesel it will have about uh, 340 bhp so it's a huge jump from 260 from uh, m uh, 430d and also this is a new engine this is something like uh, I, i'm honestly surprised that bmw did that because like i said the government are trying to phase out the diesel engines and uh, BMW you know still doing something new like that like F M440D which is obviously a sort of a, a sub M car with a diesel and obviously with a huge power 
after 340 bhp is a lot of poke for for a diesel so we'll see how that goes and uh, if people you know like it and, and, and buy it obviously uh, time will tell and now let's get to this, some other differences between the 4 series and the 3 series and this was this is the key to understand what BMW is trying to do here because the new 4 series will be lower uh, than the 3 series by 60 millimeters that's 6 centimeters that's not a small factor uh, between the cars what that brings is obviously lower center of gravity which is uh, now two, two centimeters lower and obviously better handling with that uh, better feel of the car and all that comes together but also the 4 series is two centimeters wider has wider track so the wheels are uh, further apart and that obviously is uh, also beneficial to the handling of the car and I wonder what they're gonna do with the M4 obviously they, they're probably still gonna make it wider uh, uh, wider track for the M4 but this is a significant difference between the 3 series and 4 series showing you that they really focus on uh, sportiness or as Germans call it sportiness uh, but this will obviously uh, probably be much different you know in terms of handling on, on track and I would really like to see some uh, comparison between 3 series and 4 series but obviously maybe BMW sends me both of them I'll, I'll gladly do it myself <laughs> uh, but uh, that the, the difference is is gonna cause uh, a difference in handling in the feel of the car so that would be amazing to see like comparison on track uh, between those two cars with the same engines and see how they cope how they uh, handle how they how how fast they can go around track basically so let's get to the best part for everyone the price and the BMW actually uh, didn't increase the price that much but obviously they had to increase the price over the outgoing model so now they they uh, range starts at 40 grand uh, the, for the cheapest lowest trim uh, 420i the petrol one and goes up to 55 grand more or less 53 grand uh, for the m440i which will be probably the most expensive before the m4 arrives and uh, the difference you know the 40 grand starting price is not not bad and then obviously you have to go to uh 55 if you want you know the the top of the range the uh, 440i uh, but as you can see here i did my own build on the website i didn't go crazy with it i just went with a nice white uh, car which is uh, in my opinion very nice looking that's that's what i said about that grill that bold grill design uh, if they did it that bold let's just <laughs> highlight it as well but i like the uh, the black uh, blacked out kidney grills you can have that as an option uh, blacked out mirrors maybe as well you could add that as well uh, and if you if you have it like black and white like that then you have some uh, the windows as well blacked out maybe black rims black mirrors that might you know uh, look cool on the car and on the photos on the on the design on the build i did i really liked it that was the uh, obviously the top of the range i would go for the top of the range m440i if i had the money and then obviously just just chill out with the with the options with i don't i don't really need the, all the assistance all the electronics maybe just the sunroof and and that's it no no fancy options with the uh, with the uh, trims or 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 leather colors or, or whatever so the white color as well is the free option on that car so and that would obviously uh, uh, lower the price so I can spend that money on the engine and just have fun with the uh, with the 370 bhp so that's it guys thank you for watching let me know definitely what you think about that grill everybody's talking about that grill uh, and i'm really excited as well to see finally in flesh the uh, the new 4 series and i'm like you know like i said it depends on the trim depends on the model it might look good it might you know look ugly but as you can see here the concept uh, designs uh, for the car looks stunning as usual when when you don't have to add all the real world you know um, 
pieces you know to make the car real and concept cars always look nice always uh, look nice in the design the sketching phase and then they end up looking like this